So recently there's been a conversation about finding love or looking for your spouse. And I think that uh, it's an interesting topic and it's one that um, I, I think it can be a bit of a, a misused phrase, you know, looking for a spouse. And I think it, it actually is one of those things that puts a lot of pressure on the single person. Uh-huh. And, and I think, yeah, maybe it's semantics and you know, it's just a different way of saying something. But I think it, it actually does matter how you approach finding a spouse. And it's a hard thing. I understand traditional Catholics don't have that many other traditional Catholics to choose from, especially if you come from, you know, some small state, if you're in Rhode Island or if you're in, you know, I don't know, Sri Lanka or Australia, it's going to be really hard to find someone. So maybe you, you're going to find someone who's not Catholic, etc. But either way, when you're looking for a spouse, my tip as a old married man at this point is, first of all, you got to fix yourself and really try your best to perfect yourself at, you know, as much as possible to, to be as spiritually, mentally, physically, and financially stable as possible, especially for men, but you know, women as well, to a certain extent, you know, especially up until the last part women, I suppose, if you're looking at least at the old fashioned approach, they don't have to be as financially stable as the man. But I also think it doesn't mean that the man has to own a house and, you know, work as a lawyer. I think it just means you need to be able to, well, pay the bills and feed your kids and your wife. Now, that being said, I think that, again, this, this whole mentality of, looking for a spouse, I think that puts a whole lot of pressure on you. You're, you're, when you're going to a young adult, adult gathering or you're going to a pilgrimage or whatever, and your, your purpose is to look for a spouse, I think it puts a lot of pressure that you're looking at every person you're talking to of the opposite sex and you're thinking, Ooh, maybe that's, that's the, the spouse, you know? And, you know, I think that's kind of an unnatural way of approaching it. And I think, I think, the way I would approach it again is perfecting yourself, you know, getting close to God, you know, praying, being sure in yourself. Now, some people obviously aren't as confident as others. I understand not everyone is as confident naturally as I am. I have plenty of my own failures, but um, confidence is not one of them. But I don't think it necessarily means confidence in, in terms of you're going to go out in a crowd and give a big speech, but it's just being confident in knowing who you are and confident that, you know, you understand yourself a bit. And I think that, you know, that being said, you know, that once you figure that out, once you feel like you're in a good space of kind of knowing who you are and knowing what you what you want from life and where you're headed and being stable, then I think you, you put yourself in positions to meet people, you know, and it, rather than just like, OK, I, I'm going to go and find someone right now. I'm going to go to a place where maybe I'll meet someone who might possibly eventually be my husband or wife. And I think that just puts a lot less pressure on you. So then you're, you're not going into it with this mentality of hit or miss. It's just a, okay, I feel comfortable in myself. I'm in a good place, you know, personally. Now, perhaps I'll meet the person, you know, who I'll spend the rest of my life with. And I think that, I think that's a better approach because, because again, it, then it takes off a lot of that pressure of just that single minded goal of finding somebody. And, but first and foremost, really the most important is being, being ready, being, being, ready yourself. And I, I think a lot of people, you know, they, they go to again, a pilgrimage or the YAG in Cincinnati and they don't find somebody and they, they, they go away and think, Oh, what a failure. You know, this, this place wasn't, this event wasn't right. And I didn't find a spouse. So thus it was a failure. And I think oftentimes it's because, you know, the person we were, we're not ready for, we weren't, we weren't ready ourselves, you know, in our confidence or in our faith or financially or whatever. And, you know, sometimes it takes, a certain amount of tries to find somebody too. So I guess that's my tip. Don't, don't go searching specifically for a spouse, but rather go somewhere where the opportunity is available and be, be comfortable with who you are and um, yeah, be a good person. Cause that, that makes it the best chance of finding someone else who's good.